What's up everybody? Welcome back to my channel. Hi, how are ya? Today I am in Helsinki, Finland, and we are about to do a video where I drive around town in a 1962 Rolls Royce, and we are going to test out brand new products. We have new Fenty Beauty products, we have new stuff from, I have a lot of stuff. So we'll dive into that in a second. Let's get in the car and let's drive around and see what happens. I got my Birkin and bag full of makeup. Let's get to playing. All right, let's get these glasses off. It is bright today. So here in Finland, it is like the last day of school today. So everyone is outside and in this country, they kind of do a celebration where everyone's families come together and they all celebrate the last day of school. Americans, step it up, girl. So today we're gonna be driving over cobblestones. It's gonna be bumpy, it's gonna be wild. We're just gonna test out a bunch of new makeup. I have it all here in front of me. We've got our new JSC cosmetics bag. So what do we have here? We have new Dior mascara. Of course, we brought the Thirsty palette. We have a new $85 bronzer from Sisley. Girl, that price, I'm, I'm, I'm deceased. What else do we got here? We got, we have new Marc Jacobs setting powder. It's coconut. Um, we have new Wet n Wild blushes. Um, there's a lot of stuff here. So let's just dive in and start getting ready. And I brought all of the new Fenty highlighters. Ooh, come on, kilowatt. And we have the new Iridescent Lip Luminizer. I've been dying to try this. These came out while I was flying here, so I haven't been able to use them yet. Um, we have the new Rihanna Island Bling Fenty Liquid Shimmers for the eye. So it's gonna be a good video, y'all. So let's just start painting this face and let's see what happens. All right, so I'm gonna moisturize with my all-time favorite Bobbi Brown Vitamin Enriched Face Base, of course. And I've been really loving these Morphe Brushes Beauty Sponges. They really expand like fat and they just get all over your face, which I live for. So I'm just gonna put this all over my face and get ready to put on some foundation, baby. Now it's pretty hot out here today. Usually it can be below freezing in these parts of the uh, world, but today it's like 80 degrees here, maybe 90. It was 90 in Norway the other day, you guys. I was like, come on Calabasas, what's good? <laughs> <laughs> So I reviewed this on my channel a few weeks ago versus the $9 foundation um, from the drugstore But this is the La Mer cushion foundation and I really really love it um, You just take your sponge you guys and go like that and a lot of product gets on there So I'm just gonna cover my entire face and let's see how this foundation works in a little more of a humid uh, climate All right, we're just gonna push this into our skin. Oh wow, you guys know in sunlight or daylight your face could look a little rough, but this formula, I'm like, I remember why I fell in love with it when I filmed with it. So I'm sure a lot of you were like, Jeffrey, you were in Finland last year in October. Why are you back there again? Since the first time we were there, I have expanded Jeffree Star Cosmetics into a lot of stores out here um, called SoCo. So we are celebrating um, the launch of the Equality Bundle. We were in Norway launching my brand in Vita Exclusive, and we are just, we're on an international empire growth, everyone and I'm so excited because slow and steady wins the race. And when I first started my brand, everyone was like, when are you gonna be in Ulta and Sephora right away? And I was like, I wanna have full control of my vision, my brand, my company. This is my baby and this is my entire life. So we are being very selective with who we work with and we are just growing the way that I wanna grow and everything is just unreal. So we are doing three meet and greets out here. Um, and we'll be traveling a lot more this year. We might hit Australia, UK, Russia. We have a lot of amazing plans, so get ready for that, baby. I know I already did a full video on this foundation, but just wearing it again, I am such a big fan with the way it looks. I'm like, it's skin-like, but plastic, and I love that. All right, so no new concealer today, you guys, until mine drops later this year, bam! But we're gonna use the Drugstore um, Conceal and Define from Makeup Revolution, and we are almost uh, out of this bottle. P.S. you guys, we're going over railroad tracks and some cobblestones right now, so bear with us while I blend this out. Now, who's ever done their makeup in a moving vehicle? Because, girl, I think I mastered it now. We've done 
Rolls Royce Get Ready's. I started that series when I first started my channel, actually. We've done private jets, we've done a lot of stuff. So I have some more surprises coming for you guys later this year. But you know I like to do my makeup on the go, honey. That's kind of like a joke at my meet and greets. People are like, are you gonna do like a get ready in my spaceship, a get ready like in a safari? And I'm like, all those ideas sound great. Let me write them down. <laughs> Only on this channel would we set a $9 concealer with a $44 setting powder, but you know this channel, that's what we're doing today. So we have the new Marc Jacobs Finish Line Perfecting Coconut Setting Powder. This has eight grams of product, um, and it is a invisible setting powder, allegedly, and it does retail for 44 bucks. So this is going to seamlessly set my makeup. Ooh, the packaging is cute. I love Marc Jacobs Beauty. Um, they are very consistent. So let's open this up and see what it looks like. Ooh, look at this little thing. It does, of course, have the little protector here. So let's open this up. We're going to be very careful because we are not about to get powder in this vehicle. Oh, wow. Okay, so it looks like this. And I'm just going to take my sponge like I always do. And let's just... Oh, it's like a cushion. <gasps> Girl. Let me just take some and press it under my eye. And let's see what is going to happen. Oh. It really does smell like coconuts. It's like actually yummy. Oh wow. So this foundation and concealer are pretty luminous. And look at the difference, you guys. This is very like, eh, not like it's shiny, but it's just very skin-like. With the setting powder, it's like full matte. I love it. I'm like, I'm actually kind of impressed right away just because it looks so like airbrushed. Mm -hmm. Okay, you guys, so far so good. Yay, you never know what's gonna happen when you try new products. It's always scary. All right, now we're gonna try the new Sisley Fido Touch Sun Glow Bronzing Gel Powder. Now, this retails for, I think, about $85. Oh my girl, this has 0 0.38 ounces in it. That price point, Lord have mercy. Okay, so this is the compact. Now, I love Sisley. Um, so, all tea, no shade. This feels very drugstore like the compact feels very light and cheap so when you open it up it looks like this a little pattern I'm gonna take a little Morphe um, M527 brush and let's just see well first of all let's touch it with our fingers how light is this oh it almost has like a little bit of sheen to it I'm like I did say glow what did the, girl what did this box say sun glow okay I'm like does this have highlighter in it oh my god bitch this is so sheer okay I'm like, okay. Let's give these cheekbones a whirl and let's see what happens here. Okay, I can actually see it. That finger swatch was a little scary, but you guys know you can't trust a finger swatch. Let's just dust this all around my big old forehead. Doing the jaw, definitely sheer. I'm building up, I'm building up. Oh my God, the cheek is so natural. I'm not used to this. Come on, natural star. Where are we right now? What is this place? Kaivo puisto, eli what is a ring is water. A park. Like, ah, oh, park. Oh, okay. It's kind of like the beach vibes here. The lighting in cars, you guys, is always so tricky. So I'm doing my best blend with 20 different lights hitting my face. All right, so the bronzer is laid. It is very sheer, you guys. Like, normally I wait till the end to say, like, something's not worth it. I think that if you're a makeup lover and a collector, this is very cute to have, but it's definitely not an accessory, a necessity, or an accessory either. A necessity, not an accessory. It was, it's cute though. I'm like, I actually might grab this again, but was it mind blowing? No. Okay, so we have new blushes from Wet n Wild. We have new Fenty highlighters. I think we're just gonna play with them all. Now, of course, the kilowatts are $36. The Wet n Wild Color Icon Baked Blushes are probably more like $5. Um, so let's just give these all a whirl. Now, these new uh, Wet n Wild ones are limited edition. They have a cute little hummingbird in the pans, which I live for. And I think the shade Don't Flutter Yourself is calling my name, so we'll pull her out. And then Rihanna put out a bunch of stuff, you guys. Whoa. Seven day weekend and poolside, look at that. I'm like, good morning. I wanna find the one that she wore. Here we go, Mimosa Sunrise and Sangria Sunset. Let's pop open this baby. Ooh. Okay, this color though? Girl. I'm like, wow. Full pigment, very buttery. Ah, we're talking full pigment. Ha, that girl just said hi to me. Hi, honey. All right, so I'm just gonna test a bunch of these out. Let's try a little blush first. I'm just gonna wipe these. Oh, wow. 
Okay, I see the potential here. All right, so I'm gonna dive into this shade right here. I don't know how sheer these are. It looks like they have like obviously metallic in them, which are similar to Rihanna's, but we all know Rihanna's are like the shit. It's like a fighter jet or what is that? Oh, look at the i8. Yes, bitch. Oh wow, this blush does have pigment. There is a little bit of glow to it. Oh, a lot of glow when I turn my face. Whoa, okay. Kind of wet looking too. These are very Riri, but we all know Fenty has like a lot of pigment and shine. Not that these don't, but it'll be interesting to see the um, difference. I'm like, this have way more highlighter than I ever thought. That's kind of shocking. Okay, looking a little cute, yay. Now let's bust out Miss Riri. Now, the one where she was using in her video in the bathroom was this Kilowatt Foil Freestyle Sandcastle and Minted Mojito. This was the one where she took the brush, of course, the Fenty brush, and she took this shade right here and just went, woo, and it was like crazy. What is that? There must be some crazy airplanes going on out there because it is loud. Um, okay, I think it stopped, we'll see. All right, I'm just gonna take this. I kinda wanna do the other ones first, you guys. Right, so I changed my mind and I'm gonna dip into this for a second. Now I saw Riri put this on her eyes, cheeks, everything. I don't know how pigmented these are, let's find out. Oh my Riri. Okay, I'm just gonna put this all the way up like we're going to the Met Gala because this has pigment, yes. Now I know some of you at home may be like, girl, what the hell are you doing? We're just having a little artistic moment today. Let me be me, feeling my David Bowie fantasy right now. Now just for fun, I'm gonna dip into the other shade called Mimosa Sunrise. And let's do the other side for fun, or we can just actually add it into here and really take it there for the brow color, fuck it. <gasps> Whoa. These two together, it's literally like a sunset. Okay, I've been a fan of this Fenty brush since it launched. I love the way it hugs the cheeks. Now, I'm loving for this little avant-garde painter moment. I love how this is looking. And I think that this one, let me dip into Mimosa Sunrise one more time. This one might be my favorite. I just love these two colors together. Rihanna, you killed it with this one. Um, okay, yes, of course the eyes look a little blank. So it's time to open up a brand new palette that may be launched on June 16th. Of course, we're talking about the Jeffree Star Cosmetics Thirsty palette, which was just revealed a few days ago. And girl, good morning. Today, I'm just gonna do a very soft little moment because it's all about this today. Do a little nude lip. So of course, I'm sure you guys are like, you can't do a first impressions on your own brand. I know, baby, but we gotta use it because it's brand new. I'm just gonna take shade Parched right here. And we're just gonna put that on my lid. Oh, I love that I took the orange like all the way in there. These colors right here are gonna look amazing. All right, now we're gonna dip into shade Taste Buds right here. And I just love popping that right in that crease area where the Fenty highlighter stops. This is gonna gel really good with this and just kind of blend together and look stunning. Dipping it in with Beach, next to it is everything. Now remember, these new shadows are very pigmented like all my stuff. So a little goes a long way. You don't need to dig into the pan. You don't need to be aggressive. Just blend away. All right, we are looking like a beautiful sunset right now. I am so stoked on this look. Yes, the Met Gala is quaking. All right, you guys. So we're just gonna put a little bit more of uh, taste buds under the eye. And then I'm also gonna dip into Kumquat. And just give it a little smokiness, of course. Girl, the lighting is rough right by the ocean. There we go. Gotta like angle this face. All right, so we're just gonna do a little underneath here. <laughs> that girl, the who here? <laughs> How cute! All right, so now we're gonna dive into Kumquat right here and just coat the entire brush. And let's start blending. All right, so we have some products left to try out, but I'm really hungry, and I know you guys are gonna read me to filth, like, Jeffrey, you're in another country. What amazing restaurants have you found? I found McDonald's. 
<laughs> I am going to have Finnish McDonald's. Um, I heard it's a little healthier. Um, it actually is. I know that for a fact because I was already here before um, last year. But um, I'm going to grab Nate right now. He's coming down. And then we're going to go just grab a few hamburgers, some fries, and a milkshake. And then we'll finish this video. Hey, dude. Hey. <laughs> Hey baby. Yeah. How's the review going? Um, we're just trying out a bunch of new products today. We got a lot of little crazy uh, Rihanna stuff going on here. That's sick. It looks very colorful. It's different, huh? Mm -hmm. It's like a bird of paradise. It's I know. I was gonna with say. a little thirsty palette. Woo! I love it. Um, I'm like craving fast food. Are you down for that? Yeah, let's do it. Love some McDonald's. I was telling everyone that it tastes uh, healthier than America. Oh, much. Yeah, I think it's they like have, actual real food. Yeah, I think they chicken. have different regulations here. They do have real chicken, huh? Yeah, they do. And the dessert menu here is a little bigger. They have these amazing donuts here that are just like, how do you explain them? Just the softest. They're like, almost like Krispy Kreme, just not glaze. They're just sugar. Ooh, yeah, exactly. Just as soft as like the fresh ones. All right, cool. Well, let's go grab a little bite and then we'll dive back into these products. Right, ooh, that van, y'all you better watch it. <laughs> Are we doing a mukbang? It looks like it, doesn't it? <laughs> What'd you get, babe? I just got a Big Mac. Now, when what? cars are this old, they don't have cup holders, you guys, so you gotta use your in between your legs. Yes, you do. Gotta use them kegels. Yes, you do. Now, you know, I just got a cheeseburger plain. I don't like condiments or sauces. I know everyone's like, boring. And I also take off the top bun. Yes. Minus that little cheese right there. Mm hmm. I mm. mean, you don't, you don't really need all that bread, anyways. So. Mm mm. I sure don't. Just more carbs. <laughs> mm. Mm. That's delicious. Mm hmm. Mm, amen to that. Good old comfort food. Exactly, no matter where you are in the world, I've been everywhere and there's always a McDonald's. I actually got my assistant to eat McDonald's yesterday for the first time in seven years because they, what was it called? It's like Mc a vegan. A McVegan. She's never had one. She never had one, she loved it. Oh yeah. She was like, this tastes healthier than America. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, it probably is, girl. All right, Nate just hopped out. We had a quick little bite. I love having a lunch date in the back of the car. Now we're going to finish up these eyes. We are doing a very bright today. So I think we're gonna take Filthy Rich, this gorgeous metallic gold shade right here. We're just gonna dip right in. And we're gonna put this on my lid and try not to poke my eye out while we're driving. Yes, metallic. And we're just gonna pack that on and get ready for summer. Bam. Ooh, the sun was like on my lid as I was pressing this in. I love that. Yes, honey, show off thirsty. Almost done with the eyes, everyone. Now I've been doing this thing lately with yellow. We'll see if we want to do it today. Let's give it a whirl. Where I just take this little brush. I've been doing this for the past week at all the signings. I just take the yellow and I press it under. Now this brush is a little big. Usually I like to do it a little more, but just take the yellow, press it right under the eye blend it with the orange and it just creates a little like orange lemonade. Ooh, that sounds really good. Of course, we're using shade Quench for this in the new palette. It is a very vibrant yellow, so a little goes a long way. All right, now to finish off the eye, I'm gonna try these new Fenty Beauty Island Bling 2-in-1 Liquid Eye Shimmers in, what is this one, Mamacita and Timmy Kimi. Okay, so let's see what these look like. I've seen these online, but never in person. Ooh, bitch. Okay, so I don't even know what these are supposed to do. Does it say on the box? It has to. Layer glitter top coat over dried metallic color for a hyper prismatic 3D effect. Or wear separately. Ooh. Okay, now I know that my shadow is really blinging, so I maybe have already fucked up, but let's just put some glitter on top of the glitter because, hi, we're... we're in a Rolls Royce, it's only fitting. Oh wow, this looks really prismatic. Okay, 
So we're just gonna take this, and we're gonna press it right on top of this, in the center of the eye. Oh, wow. Whoa. Let me look in the sunlight. Whoa, when the light hits this, honey. Like, okay. Ugh, sparkle gets me off. I'm like, <gasps> wow. All right, y'all. Um, and by the way, since we've started filming, it's about a thousand degrees outside. I'm like, bitch, we're sweating. All right, we're in a tunnel really quickly, and I want to show you guys how these Rihanna and Thirsty colors look together. Wow. I'm like, holy bananas. Look at the bling on this face, honey. Cartier is shaking. Okay, guys, so now it's time to test some mascara. Now, I grabbed these the other day in Norway, and I was living for these. I haven't tried them yet, but the packaging looked cool. They're volume-squeezable mascaras, and there's a coral and a pink shade, and I'm like, let's, should we do the pink, or should we do the coral? Let's do the coral. It's just probably obnoxious, so coral pump. Ooh, okay. Now, we all know doing mascara in a moving vehicle could be tricky. So I think for the top ones, we'll do black, and then the bottoms, we'll do coral. So I'll pull out my iconic Benefit Roller Lash, of course. Now, this is the part where you don't want to go blind. All right, top lashes are done. Now, let's go over to this bougie, expensive mascara, and let's try the Coral Pump. <laughs> oh, wow, this brush is massive. Okay, bottom lashes, let's see what, what happens. Now, I started to use colored mascara, like, I don't know, in like 1999, okay? So let's see if the formula's improved. Okay guys, let's give this a whirl and see if there's any pigment. Oh wow, okay, shockingly there is. Oh, hold on, we're going over some severe cobblestones, y'all, I'm like, Ooh. Imagine this going in my eye. I'm gonna get in really close to the camera. Sorry if my skin looks crazy, but yeah, look at that. It coats the hair coral. This is crazy. Imagine doing like a brown smoky eye and you do the pink. Ooh. Whoa, this is really cool. It's actually kind of subtle, maybe because the eyeshadows are so neon, but I'm kind of living for the look. It almost masks them and then when you look close, you're like, oh, good morning. All right, so far, so good. All right, you guys, let's do some lips because I am dying to put on some lipstick. All right, now for lips today, we're gonna use a new Velour Liquid Lip Shade called Soft Serve. It is a very peachy nude. And then we're gonna put on some um, iridescent lip luminizers from Rihanna. There's a shade in here, this middle one, it looks like a peachy coral. Um, ice cream moment, we definitely need her. So let's pop this bitch open. This is shade Bilingual. Love that. Let's put on soft serve first and then we'll put that on top. Oh, hi. All right, soft serve is now dried on the lips. Now let's take out bilingual. Ooh, this looks so pretty in here. And. Oh my god, these smell so yummy. Come on, like. Very cupcakey cream brulee. All right, let's see what these look like on the mouth. Ooh. <gasps> Oh, wow. That color is stunning. All right, so I think the final step before we go slay. So we definitely need to keep this makeup on all day and night. So we're gonna pull out our Urban Decay All Nighter. I know it's not anything new, but it is my all-time favorite setting uh, spray. So we don't wanna get this all over the car. Let's be careful. All right, this face is done. Now, while we're driving back to go pick up everyone, let's just do a little recap of all these products and let's see what I am living for, what I'm not living for, and let's just do our final thoughts. All right, I know that I just used it, so I'm like, okay, already obsessed, but these are really, really pretty. Um, I've seen a few people use these shades and they look stunning. Can't wait to try more of these out. So we will definitely be bringing her on the road with us. Thank you, Trio. And for the price, I think it's pretty good for these. Now, the setting powder that I just used, the Marc Jacobs, it's actually pretty good. Obviously, I have um, eyeshadow over some of my concealer, but it looks pretty. There's a whole orchestra, Chris, look. 
All right, obviously I'm not gonna judge my own products. Um, I, you know, I stand by them 100%. So Thirsty Palette, what's up, June 16th? The Wet n Wild blush was actually really pretty. I know I covered it up with the Fenty stuff, but overall, I'm kind of shocked because I'm sitting here like, I didn't hate any product that I used today. I'm kind of like shook about it. Usually, you know I have to run my mouth about something, but overall, I think the only thing that is, of course, sitting a little weird with me was the Sicily bronzer. For $85, it was literally like a, a basic bronzer. Let's be honest with each other. Um, I love that brand. They have some of the best um, skincare, but it is bougie, girl. And this bronzer was not life changing. The compact felt a little cheap. I wish they would have went more heavy and luxurious. Um, like this feels better than this, girl. Um, and I love this packaging. Besides that, I think the Coral Mascara, it wasn't the best thing on earth. Now that it's dried, I think I picked the wrong color. I should have went with like a purple or a pink. So that was my mistake. I think I picked the color that was too safe because it literally blended in with Bitch Kumquat and Taste Buds from my palette. So I fucked up there and should have got a different color. Um, now my skin, it is very hot out. Maybe I should have used a mattifying primer as well, but overall, I love this La Mer foundation. I know it's so pricey, so I don't want to tell you guys it's like the best thing ever, but if you like lifelike skin, it is pretty bomb, but there are, of course, cheaper alternatives. Let's be really real with each other here. Besides that, I kind of lived for everything. I know that's shocking. Um, I know there's a few OG favorites in here. Of course, we use the OG concealer that I've been loving. Um, something that I forgot to use was a lip scrub, duh. I used these last night, so my lips were already prepped and ready, but the Grape Soda Velour Lip Scrub from my brand is so good. I mean, I think they're all yummy. Um, of course, these are edible and infused with vitamin E. If you've never tried to win. They're only $12 on my website. Girl, shameless plug. Um, all right, you guys, I cannot believe that this video is done. We are pulling up to my hotel right now. I have had the most magical time here in Finland and Norway. I love Scandinavia so much. I know Sweden and Denmark, we didn't get to see you this trip, but we will be back very soon. Um, very, very soon. So of course, stay track on all my social media to find out the real tea. But now I'm gonna go celebrate with the Jeffree Star Cosmetics team and just have an amazing day and enjoy all the hard work that we've been um, putting on. So, of course, sound off below. Let me know what products you loved. Let me know what products you hated on me. And as always, keep it real with me, you guys. I always love to hear your 100% honest feedback. All right, I will see you guys on the next video. Thank you for watching. Mwah. <laughs> Bye, guys.